This is a great fill. It's, it's a great fill for a solo, but it's also a great uh, exercise workout pattern for your physical drumming body, okay? And all the synapses and neural firings and muscles and tendons thereof, okay? What happens is, is we're going back and forth between the snare drum and the floor tom, okay? Neil Peart does this, or as we say in Chicago, Neil Peart, okay? Neil Peart does this to great effect in his solos. I happen to look back over the years, see footage of his drum solos. He does this pattern usually in there, and usually right when he starts doing it, everybody's like, yeah, like they, it looks really cool and it sounds really cool. Plus, he does it really fast. Now, I've seen... Uh, uh, clips of uh, Buddy Rich and Krupa do this. So it's an old pattern. It's been around the block, but it's very useful. And you can find it in rhythmic patterns, okay? This is my original copy back from the early 50s. Now, that, I mean, it's the original design. I got this back in the 90s, Terry the Terrific. My father used to call me Terrence the Terrible. Anyway, Phil Stanger, my teacher back in the day, called me Terry the Terrific. God love him. And it is on page 79, okay? So on page 79, of Jokusitis' rhythmic patterns, you'll find this. Okay, the book is still in print. This is what it looks like now. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay, you got a Yamaha-ish, you got a Yamaha drum kit on here, obviously. And it is, of course, on page 79. Okay, 79 even on the new version. All right, so, here's the deal. With the pattern, okay, it's usually played, it de depending on how you think about it, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, okay? But it's usually, I think, played at least the way Cusitis teaches it, is, six, is um, uh, 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, okay? So, it would be like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. So, but the pattern itself isn't that long. That's a repeat of the pattern. The pattern itself, the way it's taught in the book, and you could start it anywhere, really, like you would a paradiddle. You know, paradiddles are taught left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, or, well, or right, left, right, right, left, right. But you could also do an inverted paradiddle, right? You're correct. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Well, in this fashion, you could kind of start this thing anywhere, but the way Cassitis teaches it is starts with the left hand, Okay, this is, I'm right-handed, okay, so this is a right-handed kit. Remember, 88.79385% of the people in the world are right-handed, so typically they'll play it this way. Otherwise, it's the mirror image, okay, if you're a lefty. So, think of it this way, okay, left-hand lead, it's all single strokes. Now, the pattern itself, the basic pattern before it starts to repeat. We'll do it in triplet berg, just because it's kind of easy to remember the pattern that way, okay? Just think of it, one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, real slow. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, so one and a two and a three and a four. So just loop this. Remember, the key to getting anything is just breaking it down and slowly repeating it over and over again. Because what you're kind of doing is you're tattooing the pattern sort of into your amalgata or your cerebellum or whatever the hell governs these things, okay? But the key is to do it slow. The speed will come. But just do it for like five minutes a day. You'll get this down. If you do it at a solo, at a club, people are like, whoa, yeah. I mean... Buddy Rich, there, there's a clip I remember of Gene Krupa doing it when he starts doing it. Everyone's like, yeah, woo! Neil Peart does the same thing, okay? In the, the Letterman 2011 solo he does on David Letterman, when he gets to this part where he cross-sticks like this, the crowd goes crazy, okay? 
So again, one and a two and a three and a four. Real, remember, real slow. I'm gonna go like molasses. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three. Okay? Not trying to be patronizing. Pay attention. One and a, two and a, three and a, four. Okay? That's it. Okay? So just loop that in a chunk. One and a, two and a, three and a, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, that's really, do it just like this. You'll get it the fastest. This is the quickest kind of, fastest way to get it. You know, like from uh, uh, something about Mary, when the crazy guy is like, you know, seven minute abs, we're gonna do six minute abs, right? Okay, but this is, trust me, do this and you too can be cranking this cool pattern out and have everybody like, yeah, okay? One and a two. Okay? And once you kind of get that tattooed into your process, one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a three. Okay, that's so it's essentially like this. One and a two and a, but then Three and a four. That's it, okay? One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Uh, hang on. I gotta think about it in sixteenths. practice a lot. I haven't practiced this a lot lately, but I was farting around doing the YouTube thing where you look something up and then suddenly you look at this and you look at that and four hours later you're like, why? I've been on YouTube for four hours. And I found the Neil Peart thing and I'm like, oh wow, there he is doing it. Okay? It's a great lick. When you do it, everybody goes berserker. Watch the Letterman thing. 2011 Papa Don. Neil Peart's cranking it out. He's behind his DWs and he has this cool lid on and he's banging it out. Okay? Again, if summer. And remember, Rhythmic Patterns, great book. You know, these books, these old books, are a fountain of information. They truly are. I mean, they really, truly are, okay? So, uh, give some cash to the Cassitis man, okay? One and a two and a three and a four. One and a... First, do it. That's what happens. Like to learn the pattern, I think eight, uh, uh, eight note triplets, how one and a two and a three and a four. Like I've said a thousand times. But then once you kind of get going, then it kind of starts to get speed, as you'll notice when you kind of get into the one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e. Okay, so one. It's hard to do, and be careful. I mean, when you're first learning, 
just be careful because especially with me you know I have a familial tremor my left hand sometimes just behaves like it's just somebody else's hand do you know what I mean like I've always said it waiting for it to grab my neck like eh, do you know what I'm saying like in liar liar okay with the pen scene which is hilarious so again this is a great lick Buddy Rich and all the guys Gene Krupa oh through the years did this that's why Cusitis probably put it in his book Neil Peart gets a great response out of it and I hope you like the new camera angle because I'm kind of digging it I have it mounted right on my 22 inch Ludwig have a good weekend uh, and I'll be making more videos shortly thank you